Hello everybody and welcome to the first installment of Nick Tower Does Things. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. Now spring is fastly approaching us and as spring comes, so does Boy Scout season in which there is a massive influx of Boy Scouts across the entire nation. Now, I was never personally a Boy Scout because I was born being able to survive on my own. Being raised by a pack of walruses, I'm able to survive in arctic-like conditions for at least 30 minutes. Way better than most boys my age. <laughs> However, not everyone was as privileged as I was and needs to be taught these necessary survival skills. One of those which is building a Pinewood Derby car. So today on the first installment of Nick Tower Does, I am taking it upon myself to help mentor these young children in how to build their car. Now, I know what you're saying, Nick. You don't really seem like a car guy, and that's where you're wrong. I have actually had my driver's license for at least three, two, two and a half years. We'll, we'll give it, we'll give it. I mean, two and a half years. So I'm actually a pretty experienced driver and know the ins and outs that every car needs. That's why I got my mechanic hat on today. Let's get right into the work. Alright, so to begin, you're going to need your base. A solid, firm piece of pine wood. Hence the name Pine Wood Derby, right? So I got my piece of pine wood. I actually uh, whittled this down from a larger piece of wood. You can either do that if you know how to whittle or just buy your own base. Uh, next up, you're going to make your wheels. So I have two pieces of wheels that I'm going to tape together. I'll do that off screen. You know, I don't want to waste your guys' time. Uh, so you're going to need a total of eight half wheel pieces and tape together to make four wheels. And so after a bit of taping, you can see uh, we have all the wheels we need. Um, you're going to need axles for those wheels. I prefer, I did a little bit of metal working, came up with my own metal rods for my axles. Uh, you can either, again, buy these in a set or, of course, if you are a proficient metal worker like myself, make them yourself. Okay, so next, of course, you are going to have to put the car together. So attaching your axles onto your base and then from there attaching the wheels onto the base I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quickly alrighty and just like that my finished car is done as you can see I laced the axles <laughs> in through the base of the car and connected my wheels onto it. now you have your finished Pinewood Derby car Are you serious it's actually not quite done you see every car should have a theme to it and the theme of this car is to get buckets. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little ornament on top. And it is a Clay Thompson, resident bucket getter. Um, and he is going to bless this Pinewood Derby car. All right, now that you had all that fun putting your Pinewood Derby car together, it's time to test this bad boy out. Let's head down to the racetrack, boys. Okay, here we go. Focus. Speed. I am speed. One winner. 42 losers. I eat losers for breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> So as you can see, building your own Pinewood Derby card, it really just can be whatever you want it to be. The limits are only your imagination, right? And I think really, that's what being a Boy Scout is all about.